Thank you for joining me. I am Joy and I would like to extend a warm welcome to all the new subscribers. I sincerely hope that you are equipped and empowered with the tools that you need to continue to journey towards your destiny. Welcome back to all the returning subscribers. I appreciate you all so very much. So the hobosexual raggedy dusty behind narcissist. For those of you who are not familiar with the term hobosexual, it actually has been around since 2017. It was coined by a lady called Nikita Nikki, and she used it to describe a person who seeks out romantic interests for the sole purpose of having somewhere to stay. Does this sound like anyone that you know? Mind you, this term applies to both men and women. This sounds like the typical lazy bum narcissist that bounces from relationship to relationship, you know, from one in from one live in situation to the to the next. The type who is forever in between relationships, not fully committing to anyone because their history informs them that their targets will eventually get wise and sick of them and they're leeching ways. These raggedy dusty behinds take leeching to the next level, just like they are pathological cheaters, pathological liars, pathological victims. They are also pathological moochers. And it has been said, well, it hasn't been said, but I, this is my opinion. I believe that they're pathologically stupid. You know, that's just in my eyes. That's what, that's how I see them. You know, and we would be crazy to think that these people have never been offered an alternative. They've never been given the um, an option or opportunity to change their ways, but they have. It's just because of their slothfulness and their commitment to doing the devil's bidding, they remain as they are. We have all experienced something, whether it's pain, hurt, disappointment, but we're all also given options to, to rise up from that. But these creatures just decide to remain the way that they are. They are offered the same opportunities, but they love their stinking thinking. So we're going to leave them right over there and let them continue to run around in circles, disrupting lives, breaking hearts and, you know, and see, sealing their own fate because that's essentially what they're doing. But homosexual narcissists are really a thing you know those are the moochers like i said the parasitic narcissists and so you know there are certain things that we can look out for as we begin to enter what narccon that's her channel she calls it the winter olympics and yes cuffing season is upon us and so beware of the random hoovers that you are going to get you know they look like text messages um, sliding in your DM asking you, Hey, I miss you. Do you miss me? What are you doing? What's up, big head? You know, those type of messages. Now is the season for them to come pouring in. And so you've got to be careful. They come through your, you know, whatever profiles you have that you have not deleted them on or whether your profile is public or not, you find them starting to like old pictures not even the recent ones but the old ones and that's how they hovered let you know hey boo i see you that's all because they need to secure a place to stay you know they have people who are in rotation and while it may not fully be winter yet now is the time that they do their work so that they can secure a summer i mean a winter home and while they're you know while they are in whoever's home hopefully it's not yours you know but wherever they find themselves during the winter months they don't rest they go right to work to start securing their summer home like i don't know who they think they are like they get a winter home summer home spring fall like hello we don't need these people in our lives but that's just who they are they are always looking for for somewhere to, to call home because they're tired of paying, paying storage fees and these guys are always ready with their trash bags that have their clothes in and are just ready to go whoever would be willing to open up their homes whoever they're able to fully indoctrinate into their lives they are ready to just get it moving on and so they they work hard to move this relationship along quickly 
we know narcissists do this. They they like fast moving relationships, but these people take it to the next level because it's not that it's just a fast moving relationship, but they want to move in at lightning speed. And so you've got to be aware of this. You know, they'll tell you things like, you know, I can't wait to meet your children. I'm going to be a great stepmom. I'm going to be a good stepdad. All of these things telling you, oh, you know, I may not be working right now, but my resume is out all over. And now is a perfect time for them to claim that they're not working. Meanwhile, the truth is they haven't been working, but a lot of people have been furloughed as a lot as well as just have lost their jobs, given the, you know, the current climate that we are under. So it's a perfect guise for them, you know, but this is nothing new, even if everything in the world was like it was back last year. When things were normal and the economy was fine and jobs were what they were, they would still tell you that, you know, as soon as I get back on my feet, because they have some sob story, they always have, you know, that running line at the back of their mind that they are ready to, to play, you know, to press play and to lie to, you know, to their targets so that they can take advantage of people. They live to take advantage of people because growing up and being a mature adult is simply too much work for them. They don't have time for that. And like I said, they're also tired of paying storage fees. So they need you or they need targets to allow them to move in so that they can finally get an address. They're weak and they're pathetic. But as soon as they identify the you know the right person, they will move it at lightning speed, just so that they can you know have somewhere to stay. And the moment they get into your homes, it's like they just relax. With these type of people, the mask slips off very fast, and that's because they are seasonal. So they are not committed to being there long term. They know that once it warms up and it's beginning to be spring and they're hopeful for whatever is there. And mind you, the whole of winter, they've been having these winter Olympics going on on their phones, on dating apps, all over social media, wherever they gather. They have been having, you know, contests or meeting new people and lying and future faking with them. So they're excited by their new options. But if you have encountered this type of person, it's so important that when you close the door and when it's over, let it be over. Because again, the seasons will come like they always come every year. We'll, we're in, you know, fall right now, winter, spring and summer, and then fall and then winter come next fall they're going to start hitting you up again and so it's important that you don't fall into this trap more than you know you don't fall into it twice never mind the extra times but like once is enough the homosexual narcissist it's worse than having a child because with our children we're able to teach them we're able to to lead them we're able to help them you know grow and think and mature into adults this is already an alleged adult. It's an adult. It's an adult shell full of sewer water, honestly. But there's nothing you can teach this person. All they will do is lay up on your couch, eat the kids' snacks, and drink the kids' juice boxes. Want to borrow your car, drive around, floss, use your car to take to snap pictures in, so that they can have something to post, so that they can have an address and talk about my home, my this, my that. Meanwhile, it's your sweat. It's your work. It's your income. Again, this is male and female. She could be there on the phone gossiping, finding the right angles to post up on social media so that she can look like the next in in Instagram model. Like, listen, it can be either one. But the homosexual is just there to get somewhere to stay. And these relationships are fast. So they don't care. That mask falls off at lightning speed and they are brutally mean because they know that, you know, they don't have a long lifespan with you. And so, you know, I just kind of wanted to talk about this type of person, this type of toxic person, this type of narcissist, because they are there now and it's time for them to find a new home. But whatever you do, don't let them lay their head in your home. Don't let them step their foot in your home. You keep that joker unblocked. Enjoy your fall, enjoy your winter, and enjoy all your days without this fool. Until the next video, take care of yourself and take care of each other.